Okay, I am here to explain the yarn rope maker, and um, assuming you can actually make this rope maker, um, and um, or you can make rope, and I'm going to demonstrate how to make rope first. And what you need is three spools of yarn um, right here. I've chosen these three. I made this little box that holds the yarn separately, but you can get you know containers like this. But the key to this yarn is actually having the rope come right out of the center of the rope, the yarn come right out of the center so it doesn't get tangled. If you try to take out the side, it's really hard to work with the yarn. So make sure it comes right out of the center when you buy it. Um, so I'm just gonna pick these three random colors. And what I start with is, um, is going, look at right here, we've labeled this start one right here. And so I'll take all three strands, push that back. All three stands and tie it right here. Okay, and I just do a double knot. And then after you get this knot tied, you're gonna come back to this, which is labeled two. Come around two. We're making a short rope here, so just for a demonstration. Here's three and four and five. And going back around six, as you can see here, I'm taking the whole spool with me, three. And hold on one second, we have some guests here, so we're not gonna have any, any interruptions. And, <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna cut the yarn right here, as so. And then we're gonna tie off to this, where it says finish, number seven. And so Ava's gonna start twisting the rope. And she generally wants to stand on one side of this. Um, this side, you should probably stand on that side because that's the longest end. And you're gonna wind that up. But keeping this taut at the same time, go ahead and wind it. Keep winding, you can wind it fast. Okay, and she can manage that. If she stands on this side, she's gonna have a better success with that. There you go, and keep it nice and tight. You're gonna keep that tight, Ava. She's gonna wind it till it gets pretty taut. And it wants to look like, almost like wound up taffy. Keeping good pressure on that. Almost there. Gonna keep winding some more. And it never hurts to overwind it a little bit. And then I think it's probably good right there, Ava, so hold it. And I'm gonna basically play like a tug of war with her. So I'm gonna pull it, but she's gonna let me pull her a little bit. And I'm watching my hand as I'm squeezing this, as I pinch it right here, the yarn rolls back on itself. I probably could have wound this a little bit more. It's not bad, but it just feels like it's, it's actually pretty good. Probably could use a little more winding though, but it's not bad. And I'm gonna take it all the way in. Notice I'm just pinching and pulling this through. And then I'm gonna take off these pieces right here. And here, and just tie a knot with the excess right here. So there is my rope. And I'm gonna tie off the excess. And there you have it, there's the rope. All right, have fun. Enjoy.